Before learning how autarkic gates work, it's important to first understand the basics of how normal gates operate. If you're interested, I've done up a really basic tutorial which is available here. Autarkic gates have the ability to activate what is called an energy pulsar, and it's pretty much an inbuilt low powered engine. This is useful in many situations, especially when moving items and liquids out of storage. For example, this autarkic gate is attached to a wooden waterproof pipe. It's set to detect if there is liquid in the tank, and if there is, it'll activate the energy pulsar. As soon as the energy pulsar is activated, the liquid is pumped out of the tank, and as soon as the tank is emptied, the energy pulsar stops. So there's no need to worry about redstone currents, engines, or overheating. Just like normal gates, autarkic gates come in four different material types. The first one is the basic autarkic gate, which is simply listed as autarkic gate. It has only one row, which means that it can detect only one single event at a time. The second is the autarkic iron gate, which has two rows, allowing it to detect two events at a time. The third is the autarkic gold gate. With four rows, it allows a detection of up to four events at a time. And the fourth is the autarkic diamond gate, which has eight rows, allowing it to detect up to eight events at a single time. The iron, gold, and diamond autarkic gates all have AND and OR variations. This has to do with how the gate reacts to multiple events at the same time. If you'd like to learn more about how AND and OR gates operate, I have separate tutorials located here.